So in this tutorial, we're going to be using my graphics pack as the example. So all you got to do is go to this video. I'll leave it down in the description below. Go down here to the description where it says graphics pack and media fire. Go ahead and click on that. It'll take you to the media fire website, which is safe. As long as you don't click any ads, just click download right here and close this tab out and it'll open an ad. So you just want to close that out as well. So now it's downloading down here. It's going to take about two minutes. So I'll be back whenever it's done. And the reason the logo is a PS is because I have Photoshop. If you have Photoshop, it will be a PS. If you don't, I'm not sure what it will be, but it'll still be a .psd, which means you can use it in photo editors such as Photop and many others. I've just gotten some questions about that, so I thought I should clarify. All right, so it is done now. So I'm just going to grab this window, move it over a little bit. And my photo P is right here, so I'm going to bring that over here. Now you just want to drag this onto your desktop right here. And now you can close out this window and go up to file, open desktop. And now you should scroll until you find the Canva Creates Retro Pack. Now just double click on that or click open. It's loading and here it is. So don't just drag it onto Photo P because if you just drag it, it will just come in as a picture and that's not what you want. You have to open it with Photo P. So here we are now in Photo P with the graphics pack. So there's a ton of stuff over here. You may be wondering what you do. So everything has to be done in this project. So you have to add in all your effects and everything because this is like the foundation of it. This is where you can add all your borders and do all of that. So once you want to start, you can hide the cover and then just delete it and hide the background, but you might want to have a different background to put there. And if you want to change the canvas size, so say you want to make a banner, you could just change the dimensions by going up to image, canvas size 2560 by 1440. So now let's just find a background and we can start working. I'm going to change it back to a thumbnail and now what you can do is now when you hit this little eye next to the folder and then open the folder and then click the eyes next to these effects, you'll be able to see them. So if you have these unhidden, right? And then you click the eye, it'll all disappear anyway because you're hiding the layer or the uh, folder. So let's just get a border. Let's just get this one. Minimize that and we can add some different lighting effects if we want. So I guess we could do something like this and then turn the opacity down on it. I'm just quickly showing you how you would make a thumbnail using a graphics pack. Now let's say you want to add a background instead of this background, just go anywhere online, find a background. Um, that's the right size. I'll just go with something like, um, I guess like this, just copy it, bring it back. Um, allow that to access your clipboard if it isn't already. And now we can make it bigger. Make sure to drag the background layer all the way to the bottom. So everything will be on top of it instead of below it. And now you can just delete the background layer because we don't need that anymore. And here you could just keep adding different effects to it. Or I guess you could use the stock image. So drag the stock images to the bottom. And then these can become your new backgrounds. As you can see, I'm just unhiding them after uh, unhiding the folder by clicking on them. but I don't really want to use any of these because the rainbow doesn't really go with it. So we can just keep adding effects. I guess it's really easy once you figure out the basics, but now you can just add your text and stuff. And then I'm just adding some text, hit the check mark. So everything is done in this file, right? So say you never use arrows, you could just delete the arrows. If you never use brushes, you just delete all the ones you don't use. So it's all clean at the end. And here we are, we got all our effects here. 
and I think that looks better, but you get the idea. You just work in this project and you can change the canvas size by going to image canvas size to change it to whatever size your project is going to be. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully this helped you guys understand. If you have any questions, leave it down below in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video later. Thank you.